everything we do is being captured by, you know, code generators. Facebook with their around 70 million lines of code, Google with their 2 billion lines of code. Every single action, every single interaction that, that we do today is, is folded and being monetized by few companies today. I think to monetize cause is to be able to remove friction and create value. I'm, I'm vegetarian. I, I, I landed in DC. It's my first time in DC. Why did I actually need to even open a search engine and look for a vegetarian restaurant? It knows that I just flew for a lot of hours just to be here. It knows that probably hungry. Not Google, not Facebook, not Apple. None of them gave me, hey, there is like very good vegetarian restaurant just around the corner. I needed to do everything you know, by hand, but I'm living in a world of, you know, digital supremacy, but it's still technology is, is putting barriers or frictions rather than removing it and giving value. When we design a city, we design it around the distance between two horses' asses. We put a road, which is like the horse and carriage, you know, of the Romans, and, and from there we expand the city and we end up in a reality when 75 of the city are roads and parking lots where pedestrians and cars share the same infrastructure. How can we build cities that are smarter? How can we build infrastructures that can cope with digital changes rather than us being retrofitting the cities? Because when you retrofit something, you end up a glass ceiling in the end of the day. And I'm terrified that we, we will end up with half of the world cities are retrofitted cities that are going nowhere and half of the world cities are actually not physical objects, they are digital objects. For me clean energy is just an, yet another buzzword like big data, like AI, you know, like uh, <laughs> global warming. They all come up in, into, you know, into, into a stop once you actually need to implement. We tend to think clean energy is energy that is coming out of electricity, but are we actually doing electricity in the right way? I think we, we, we keep forgetting that oil and coal are natural resources, exactly like hydro, exactly like the sun. The problem is not with the natural resources. The problem is with the way we harvest and utilize these natural resources. And if we are going to take clean energy and going to put it in batteries, what are we going to do with the batteries few, you know, many years from now? We are going to, we, we're just shifting the problem to another generation. I haven't seen a single clean energy strategy that can, you know, really take us 500 years. And, and when we're talking about energy, this is the lifespan we need to talk about, not the next five years, because no one cares about the next five years. So to move beyond buzzwords, it's actually to move into implementation, stop talking and start doing. I think we should reverse the way we're actually looking at technology and first understand the frictions that exist out there, understand the challenges that exist out there, and then try to design an experience to tackle these frictions and these challenges and then find the best technology that can solve that. Technology should be invisible. We should not even have discussions about technology. It should be transparent. It should be kicking in to help me to take decisions when decisions should be taken, but then fade out of the way and let me experience my life. In the end of the day, we have created enormous, we have enormous talent to solve world poverty and anger and famine and diseases. And we have the technology to do that, but instead of unleashing the technology, setting it free to do that, we're enslaving ourselves to this technology. We are creating our own technological jail. We, we, we lost our imagination of repurposing things. And I think we need to go back and figure out how we can use this you know, experiences that we would like to create and how we can find the technologies that can actually solve that. Instead of having engineers sitting in dungeons, we should put engineers with the community, experiencing the, commu the community frictions, and then coming up with solutions. We need to trigger creativity, not, you know, wait for it to come to us. <laughs>